at the crash site of the Condor. The tarp is secured, and that's the last of the bodies. They stink. That's going to draw attention. Aerial surveillance isn't going to scan by smell. Everything under the tarp will disappear as soon as I hit the switch. Our ship, their vehicle, their bodies, poof, just part of the landscape. I was referring to the scavengers. Cockroaches the size of dogs with bone cutter pincers. Hey, I know who these guys are. These are Archicon tattoos. This must be one kick. A gang? A group that splintered off from Chen's syndicate about 10 years ago. They were lured into some pretty dark business by the big money of clone harvesting. These people grow and sell human beings? For the parts. Evil. They don't come around my route too much anymore. Not after I had a run-in with them at Looper Station. What happened? I ran into them. You can be very literal. Broadside. And if rapid decompression isn't your thing, well, add to that being blown out into space through a large whirling fan blade. And you got yourself- No need to continue. I know I would have hated it. A full throttle people blunder with the lid off. Hey, what do you figure are the odds of us sneaking into their encampment and getting a message off-world? We already have a means of off-world communication. We do? How? Why are you mentioning this now? We don't. Fiddlehead and I do. Off-world communication didn't come up before. We do? When I pointed out that your handheld was lost and the ship's array was broken, that was when off-world communication came up. Oh. Oh? Yeah. Oh. What am I, a mind reader? Does the plate is broken mean I'm hungry and want a turkey dinner? No, it does not. How? The plate breaking was hypothetical. She was asking how the two of you have off-world communication. No, I was talking about the plate. I was worried that I had zoned out and missed something, but but yeah. How do we have off-world communication? Coven style. And what is coven style? You remember Tara? Hello. Who's Tara? Hello. Who are you talking to? That's how. What's how? Is she a messenger? Is who a messenger? Nope. Take her hand. You'll see. Take whose hand? What is she going to see? What is going on? Aboard the long. Now move my desk so that the camera faces that wall. It is the only undamaged wall in here, you imbeciles. Can't call the Archicon and have them suspect anything. Do it! Tamerlane So is a jackal. He will pounce if he suspects weakness. <clears throat> oh, she's a heavy one. He's there. Oh. Now get out. And close the door. Hello, Tamerlane. My old friend, Captain Chen. How are you, buddy? I am seeking a trade. That was quite the light show up there, Chen. You ride it out okay? Of course. The Long is a great vessel. Virtually indestructible. It would have to be. My question is, why risk the nebula at all? Pursuit of some former crew of mine. That's starting to become a thing for you. They attempted a mutiny. There can be no survivors. That doesn't always work out for you now, does it? So... It was the pursuit of this recent batch of self-starters that led you to one kick? Yes. Their ship did not fare so well in the light show. They crashed on the planet. We saw someone come in hot. They must have landed hard. We sent out a patrol to investigate. Have they reported back? Not yet. These are treacherous and desperate people, Tamerlane. I wouldn't want the Archicon to needlessly get caught up in what amounts to an internal matter. You want to send a hunting party, I imagine? Yes. You don't want a trade, you want a favor. Those are pricey. Are you sure you want to go to the expense? One kick is a dangerous place to be roaming around in. These budding entrepreneurs will likely be taken care of in due course. I want their heads. All right. But there are conditions. Assumed. The long stays right where it is. You send a shuttle. You land where I tell you to. You will send me a roster of the detail, including what they will be bringing. Anything different shows up and we kill them all and keep the toys. You get one shot at this. Make it count. 
If your crew dies in the attempt, then their bones stay here. Finally, there will be a toll. If that is amenable, then come on down. If not, then leave our space now. I accept the terms. Send me the roster. We will send you acceptable tariff items. Inside Tamerlane's office on one kick. One call down, one to go. Call Dr. Rising. How did things go? Chen is sending a team. Tenacious. Blow the lab and leave now. You can start up again elsewhere. You don't give the orders. You're basically a consultant. You've mistaken my advice for orders. You're not making moonshine. You've got a customer list of potentially powerful enemies. I'm not going to mistake your advice for concern, Doctor. You don't want your own little lab exposed. You have no idea what's under your floorboards, Tamerlane. If you can't secure it, you should blow it up. From your own account, Alexandra crashed relatively nearby. I guarantee she's coming. We owe her a vendetta, Doctor. If Chen fails, we will not. Alexandra will be at your front door soon enough. We'll see her coming from a long way off. That is the advantage of living on a barren planet. It's wide open. This is a big sky world. You might get to see her right before you die. At a gathering of the Coven. Where are we? We're in a blah 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 yawn of Terra's making. Ladies, for those of you who haven't met her, this is Fiddlehead. Goddess, this is a little impromptu. Is everything all right? Yes. No. We've crash landed on the planet One Kick in the Allegra Nebula. It's a gang hideout for the Archicon. Is everyone all right? I was the pilot. Uh, 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 goddess, we've been in communication with the planet. She has tapped into the coven, and as a result, she's chosen a name for herself. Sailstone. Apparently after the Sailstones in Death Valley. She's a she? Death Valley? Really? Death Valley? Don't look at me like that. I didn't name the place. I'm not the goddess of Earth. As with choosing a name, choosing a gender could be strictly for our benefit. But until the planet states otherwise, she is a she, and her name is Sailstone. And apparently she is here for a mate. The nature of the relationship isn't precisely clear, but it takes two to procreate. Baby planets? We're left with the impression that the two together somehow bestow life on a run-of-the-mill planet that is already in existence. Now that you're on good terms with Sailstone, maybe you can tell her that Dr. Rising isn't a nice person. It isn't that simple. Ezra has invariably been in touch with her also. It would put Sailstone in an awkward position. And Sailstone's view on what constitutes not a nice being could be quite different from ours. Trying to push our agenda on an alien entity we know little about is risky and unwise. You forget that she is already being gracious by letting us land. She doesn't have to. As Priestess Jennifer alluded to, we should tread lightly. Does anyone know how the strange lit testing went? Now that we don't have the Condor, this has become even more important since that ship that we will inevitably steal from the Archicon in a grisly blood-soaked hijacking, no doubt, very likely won't have a shield. We will steal? You're gonna tag along? The testing went badly, I'm afraid. Every asteroid sent in Sailstone's direction came into contact with a strange lit. Did you find our care package? Yes, thank you. The change of knickers will come in handy. Goddess, is there anything we can do to help? Maybe let Sailstone know that we've been delayed, but we're still coming. Bye-bye. Back on the planet of One Kick. Oh, I'm going to be sick. Oh, what the heck? The first gathering is always a kicker. Huh? What did you see? Alexandra said... Take her hand, you'll see. You reached out your hand, and you vomited. We were in communication with the coven. 
The living planet has named herself Sail Stone. Hmm. All right. How about the asteroid testing? Any updates? Total failure. Are they sending help? It would take too long. We're grabbing a ride here. Grabbing a ride? You make it sound quaint. I'm going to their stronghold, raising hell and stealing a ship in the chaos. Better? Yes. Are you sure you can find them? 100%. How? I have a knack. Would you like to elaborate on that? How does shooting into the sky explain anything? Wait for it. Is that a drone? Did you just shoot a drone out of the sky? Who's got binoculars? It's a drone. How did you see it through the cloud cover? Elaborated. Impressed. I know. What kind of guns are you packing? Big. Can I hold one? Nope. Okay. Next topic. About these disguises. This stuff doesn't fit me. I look like a kid who just rummaged through the wardrobe of a destitute theater company. (laughs) That performs at landfills. Who is going to believe that I am a member of the Archicon? I look ridiculous. Up close? (laughs) No one. From an overhead flyby, maybe passable. Maybe? I'm wrapped in these body odor and burning garbage smelling rags for a maybe? Yep. I've got some headsets in my duffel bag. We should wear them in case we get separated. This thing takes up nearly the entire cargo bed of the dune buggy. What didn't you bring? Pretty standard kit. There's a standard kit for going to a living planet in an attempt to drive out a demon from a haunted ship? Yes. On the bridge of the Star Hopper. Ma'am, the jetway from the BGO Stingray is in position, sealed with Airlock 3 secured. Lisa, dear, let us go meet our distinguished guests. Dr. Rising, it's an honor to finally meet in person. Captain Banks, you are a flatterer. I hope you don't mind. Lisa will be joining us in the briefing. So will Ensign Curry. Your uniform indicates communications branch, Ensign. If I were to guess, I'd say you are a stenographer. Correct, ma'am. Auditory eidetic memory. Correct. And sensitive information, police. One wrong word and you pull the pin. I'm positive the Ensign loans all about himself, dear. I didn't realize that what we were doing merited a living explosive auditing the meeting. Then they weren't forewarned about you. We're even. I won't kill everyone in the room and cripple the ship because of a failed audit. True. But you do have an abrasive edge. I was told to advise you that, per your specifications, the limiters on your team's rifles have been removed. Is that advisable? Definitely. Doctor? The price for speeding up the weapon's recharge time is radiation during streaming. I'll be among the team. I'm not suicidal. It's barely higher than recommended exposure. If we are swarmed by those condensate beings, the difference in reload rate will be appreciated. Do the soldiers know? Of course. Why wasn't I informed? Consider yourself informed. Welcome to my office, gentlemen. It's cozy, but I'm confident the four of us can fit. Miss Normal informed the BGO that you believe the Invictus went off the map. We'd like some elaboration. And elaboration you shall have. When the work started on developing human navigators for interdimensional drive, they kept going mad. The drug and grafting regimen was the initial suspect. However, it was discovered that when the drive was activated, the navigators were receiving communication from another dimension. It was Fiddlehead who subsequently brought it to my attention that, in crude terms, if strong enough, such influence can become full-blown possession. This finding actually lines up nicely with my own research on psychopaths. Possession? As in demonic? As in a being for whom humanity's sense of morality does not apply. You were talking about evil. 
evil is a provincial concept, Ensign. Dr. Rising believes that the navigator of the Invictus was possessed by the passenger. Let's call it what it is, Doctor. Evil is evil. And to be clear, you are talking about the infiltration into this universe of evil from another dimension. I am. Do you believe the passenger is somehow tied to the coven? I sure do. A hunch is as good as you're going to get. The passenger holds its cards tight to its chest. It is in communication with me, but that could be simply a matter of me being psionically gifted as opposed to having coven membership. Why else would it be in communication with you? The passenger knows we're coming, possibly from the planet. Just reaching out and saying hi? I suspect something more akin to a little old-fashioned preliminary reconnaissance. Hasn't everyone with whom it communicated gone mad? Isn't that what you indicated earlier? Not dear little fiddlehead. She's an exception, but she started out mad. How do you explain your own apparent immunity? I started out evil. There is nothing to explain. I've never taken the Invictus out for a spin. A little psionic chit-chat is not the intense immersion with the passenger that navigation appears to be. Could there be others as gifted as yourself, within the coven perhaps, who would also be as unaffected? I don't know. I don't believe you. Ensign. This is an intelligence issue. Quite all right, Captain. I take no offense. The man is simply doing his job. Ensign, I'd love to oblige, but proving the absence of knowledge is a little tricky. What's the full risk to you? Sweet of you to be concerned. I'm specifically completing the mission. You're adorable. She knew full well what I was referring to. I won't be attempting to jump out of this dimension. I'm merely chugging across the finish line. Failure due to demonic possession is highly unlikely. Failure due to the goddess's wrath, on the other hand, is still a concern. The pirates failed? Chen had one shot. Catch her by surprise, but he blew it. Now he and his crew are all dead. They just don't know it yet. Is there a contingency plan? Yes, to beat her to the Invictus and get out of there ahead of her arrival. Hopefully, the impending massacre at one kick will drag on a tad. We've got all we need, Ensign. Dr. Rising will leave you to it. On a plateau, on one kick. Their ragtag fleet is huddled together like circled wagons. There's one permanent structure, a single-story building, with a radio tower. It's my turn. Give me the binoculars. I want to see. Some watchtower and bunker installations. Perimeter defense is otherwise fairly lax. That's because they aren't expecting anyone, and because the Archicon are lazy knuckle draggers. We're good here. They don't appear to have anything looking toward the plateau. I'll set something up to watch for drones. Your turn. Finally! I have some camo for us in the duffel bag. It takes on the image of its surroundings, like the tarp over the ship, but with a faster response. Binoculars make this place look worse. It's like one big grave marker. Here, catch. Hey, binoculars, catch. Unroll them. Ponchos? Poncho gowns? You can take off your pirate getup. Here are the controls, and this is how you activate the camouflage. Voila. It's not by any means perfect invisibility, but unless someone is staring right at you, you should be able to get around unnoticed. Keep in mind that you still make noise and still cast a shadow. If we had these all along, why did we wear the ruined bacon and body odor clothing? Well, the vehicle couldn't appear to be driving itself. Uh, I will never be able to get that smell off me. Never. I have a tarp for the dune buggy. You'll make someone a good mom. <laughs> Not done yet. This will see if they've got anything in the air. And they do. Uh, something coming in from space. Chen? Quite possible. We've got two factions of pirates to deal with. Twice the fun. So explain this again. You found the stronghold by sense of smell? She is a goddess. Don't start. 
She found them. You explain it, then. I smell the rotisserie chicken. Incidentally, you'd be surprised how many galactic critters smell and taste like chicken when they're grilled. Why would you know that? That can't possibly be true. It is. Don't get me wrong, I love beef and all, but when you eat as much as I do, for as many decades as I have, you develop EMP. You've developed an electromagnetic pulse? Extra meat perception. For any cooking meat that's not beef. A boxy ship just descended out of the clouds. Already picked it up. That would be a troop carrier. Either the town does far-reaching takeout, or that is a hunting party. Here, take a gander. Yep, Chen's crew. And they've come loaded for bear. There are bears here, too? Is there nothing cuddly on this dirt ball? We're the bear. Actually, you're the bear. Me? Why me? Because you can reboot the Invictus. You suspect this is a contract kill? What? I think that we're in a race against this Dr. Rising woman, and that the Long attempting to destroy us is too coincidental. For all they really should have known, we were a run-of-the-mill condor. Why pursue us onto a rival stronghold? To claim a smashed-up ship? Not even I'd merit being pursued onto a rival stronghold. Congrats, you've dethroned me as humanity's most wanted by the criminal underworld. Chen probably paid significant coin to be granted uncontested passage. The bounty on you must be huge. Huge. I'm a little envious. Clearly the bounty is not being paid by weight. I'm getting to know you a little. We're bonding. Uh, okay, yeah, a little. But more importantly, I am developing a key ability to read the situational topography of your global view. Fancy speak meaning what? Given our proximity to an entire town of pirates and the recent arrival of heavily armed bounty hunters, we will soon be arriving at the tipping point, if we're not already there. And I would like to take my leave. What tipping point? When the Carnival of Blood rolls into town. Uh, I'm lost. Are we talking about the pirates' shanty town? Yes, that town. And she is the Carnival of Blood that is going to roll into it. If you want to go ask them for a ship, you go right ahead. But just so you know, no matter the outcome, I won't waive arresting them all. Hold on. Say that I negotiate them giving us a spaceship. In exchange, you'd arrest all of them? No. Transaction 1, in exchange for giving us the ship, I do not have to go and take it, which, since they know me, would be a major selling point. Transaction 2, in exchange for the criminal activity they have done, I will arrest all of them and maybe accidentally burn down their town. Ah, see what I'm working with! The woman is a marshal. They are pirates. Arrest would be the logical outcome, right? Although, I can't condone the burning. That's where the sanity line is? But I suspect it'll seem pretty accidental to me. I hate being the voice of reason. I hate it. I hate it. Hate it. By taking your leave? Where would you leave to? I'd wait it out here. Alone? You'd be okay with that? I've got my bearings now. When I put my mind to it, I can be pretty stealthy. Actually, I was impressed with how she moved about on the asteroid base. And the frigate. Especially the frigate. You and Dr. Rising have been the only people to ever find me. Dr. Rising had to do a little searching, but you saw me dead on. That had never happened before. Show me. Show you? Are you going to play hide and seek? Where's she going to hide? Okay, I'm in. You need to close your eyes and look away. You can't peek, either of you. And you, if you see me, you have to promise not to give me away to Jane. Sure. And when you give up, you have to close your eyes and face the other way again. Let's do this. Poncho off. No tricks up my sleeve. Now, turn around. I will count to ten, okay? Okay? Where did she go? Are you kidding me? You see her? You don't? No! Are the two of you messing with me? I'm not messing with you. Are you messing with me? No. You really don't see her? No. You do? Yeah, I do. <laughs> okay, fiddlehead, you got me. We're turning around now. You can look now. That is an incredible skill. So now you see her? Well, she's right there. I'm not blind. <laughs> do you have some sort of invisibility tech? Were you right there the whole time? No to tech. Yes to being right here the whole time. It's like my navigational abilities. I really don't understand why other people can't do it. 
Maybe Alexandra being able to see me is related to extra meat perception. You could actually see her. Is the I am a goddess thing starting to come together for you yet? I'm there. And visible. I'm just outside of awareness. I call it unvisibility. Your Skywatcher gadget appears to have picked up something. Yes, it has. And it's coming this way. It's so low that it keeps disappearing behind the mesas. It's close. And it's big. <laughs>